Okay, so the first test method that I'm going to show you is test method A, the job site test or the X-cut tape test. This is going to be most applicable out on the job site when you need to check for adhesion of finish on your floors. What's important with this test is that you have the right tools. Uh, first you need a razor blade, sharp blade, preferably a brand new blade, something that's very sharp. You're going to need a straight edge. You're going to need tape the tape that's approved or recommended by this test method and or the manufacturer of, of this kit. Um, and you're also, lastly, going to need an eraser. Uh, so let me show you how we do this test out in the field on the floor with these tools. So as you've de determined where you're going to be placing this test, you want to make sure with your knife that you place your cuts in the floor. The most important thing is as you do your cut in this floor, you're going all the way through the coating and not just through the surface. Also, your X is not a true 90 degree X. You're gonna be placing an X with the angle of the cut between 30 and 45 degrees from one cut to the next. Now that you've got this cut in the floor, you're gonna take your tape and you're going to place it the length of the tape parallel with the short angles on those cuts. I'm gonna place the tape down starting in the middle and that's where I'm going to take my eraser and just make sure that you've got good adhesion where it comes in contact with those cuts. After it's down, you want to make sure you pull the tape. You don't want to jerk the tape. You want to make sure you pull it rapidly though. And as you pull it back, you're pulling it at about 180 degree angle to itself, which means you're pulling it straight back off the floor. So you can see we had pretty significant finish failure on here in terms of adhesion. You can see here where all the finish has peeled away from the flooring surface. We also have within the X finish that's pulled away at all of the intersections. So the classifications when you do this test are pretty simple. Um, there's a chart that ASTM designates within this test method that allows you to take a look at the results and classify how bad it is. Classifications go from 5A all the way down to 0A. 5A is no peeling, 4A is trace peeling, 3A is jagged up to about a sixteenth of an inch in, in size, 2A would be jagged at the intersection, 1A would be most of the area, and 0A would be well beyond the test area. So you can see here this would be classified as a 0A because not only has the finish peeled within the test area but it's expanded well beyond the test area as well. So now I'm going to show you method B, the laboratory test for checking the crosshatch adhesion within a floor. Um, the tools that you're going to need for this are a cutter, a cutting tool with specific uh, teeth and blades within the cutter. You've got your tape recommended within the ASTM test method. You've got a lighted magnifying glass to be able to examine the area much closer. You've got a brush and you, again you've got a straight edge. And then I always have my knife with me just to make sure I've got everything squared away. So with this method, you've got a special tool with all of these knives on here that helps uh, keep the cut even in all directions. So all you're going to do is hold this tool at about a 15 degree angle to the floor surface, push down, make a cut one direction, and then another cut 90 degrees to that same cut, go in the opposite direction. Take the brush, brush away all the res residue, you can see we've got some pretty major failure there already. Then I'm going to take the tape, stick the tape over the surface, and with the pencil eraser, make sure I've got good adhesion down in that area. Now in this situation, we've got some pretty major failure already. As you remove this tape, you pull it back 180 degrees back onto itself, move it swiftly, but don't jerk it too fast. And you can see we pulled back a lot of finish with this one as well. We've got a pretty major failure. In this case, this would be considered 0B greater than 65% or even greater than 100% of this test. So this was the standard method measuring adhesion by the tape test using ASTM test method D3359, uh, both methods A and B. So hopefully you'll find this a little bit useful as you go out and uh, venture into recoating a whole bunch of wood floors out there.